Hello, and welcome to the Miss District of Columbia Sparkle and Shine Talent Show benefiting the American Childhood Cancer Organization. I'm Caitlin Cox, Miss District of Columbia 2019. On behalf of the organization and the young women performing for you today, thank you for joining us this evening. We greatly appreciate your support and your contribution to ACCO. The American Childhood Cancer Organization's mission is to provide support services to the children, families, and friends who are impacted by childhood cancer. In my time with the Miss District of Columbia organization, I've fundraised over $57,000 for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Children's National. And in addition, I've done a $5,000 fundraising effort called Mission Maddox for a friend's son of mine who was diagnosed with leukemia at just one years old. At four now, he is in remission and doing well. And it was that experience that really brought home how important the work we're doing is. Tonight, we are fundraising for such a worthy organization, the American Childhood Cancer Organization. And I would greatly appreciate if you would consider making an extra contribution in addition to your ticket sales. Keep in mind that all ticket sales from tonight will be going to ACCO, so please, if you haven't done so already, share the link. Before welcoming the 2021 Miss District of Columbia candidates to perform their talents, I will be singing an original song for you. Here is Simply Lovely. I hope you enjoy. These visions of you creeping in I tried to keep love from breaking the skin But it's seeping slowly Don't know why I can't turn my head And let you pass by It may be all too easy to just say goodbye, but visions haunt me. No matter how far you may be, I close my eyes and I see lovely, wonderful, crazy, beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my song, Simply Lovely. Now let's get to those candidates' talents. Hi, my name is Kissa Mariwala, and I'm going to be performing an original closing argument on why Miss America should be found guilty of being relevant. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, service, style, scholarship, and success. These four attributes have defined Miss America and the modern woman for decades. Today, many say that Miss America is an institution of ages past. Yet today, a woman still needs no less than these four attributes to reach the highest levels of success in her life. First, service. Giving back to your community what your community poured into you. Helping others to succeed and creating a better world around you. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, when will that ever not be relevant? Second, style. No matter what your armor of choice is, be it a power suit, scrubs, a lab coat, or a combat uniform, a woman's style allows her to amplify the confidence she already holds within herself. Third, scholarship. In a world where women are more encouraged than ever to pursue higher education, where 52% of my graduating class in law school were women, scholarship remains a vital part 
on the path to success for a woman. And as the largest provider of scholarships to women, Miss America remains a vital facilitator on this path to success. And these three attributes combine to create success. In a world where women are shattering glass ceilings and achieving all of their goals, Miss America remains an ever important part on their path to success. And as such, I hope you'll find Miss America guilty of being relevant. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Aubrey Graz, and today I will be playing an impressionist piano piece by Jennifer Lynn titled By the Waterfall. I hope you enjoy. My name is Angela Medina and I'm excited to perform Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall in the major lift, the baffled king composing alleluia. Maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who out true. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you So we gon' walk it out and move on days And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day
Hi, I'm Maggie Letty, and I'll be singing Good Morning Baltimore from the musical Hairspray. Oh, 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 give me a chance, cause when I start to dance, I'm a movie star. Oh, 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 something inside of me makes me move. When I hear that groove, my mom tells me no, but my feet tell me go. It's like a drummer inside my heart. So, oh, oh, don't make me wait one more moment for my life to start. Hello everyone, my name is Allison Ferris and I am excited to be a part of this year's fundraiser event benefiting the American Childhood Cancer Organization. I hope you're enjoying our talented contestants so far. I served as Miss District of Columbia 2018, where I had the distinct honor to partner with the DC community in supporting the battle against childhood cancer. One of the highlights of my year as Miss DC was serving as an ambassador for Children's National, where I visited children and helped raise awareness and funds for childhood cancer. In 24-hour radiothons, arts and crafts on air with Secret Studios to playing some of the children's favorite songs on the piano. Nothing gave me more joy than seeing the smiles and hearing the laughs of children and their families. It is moments like these that continue to grow and empower the community of families, survivors, and friends who have been affected by childhood and adolescent cancer. Today, my two favorite parts of the Miss America and DC organizations, talent and service, come together to showcase the incredible talents of the 2021 Miss DC contestants. Each contestant's talent will be 35% of their overall competition score. The remaining portions of the competition include an interview, onstage question, and red carpet with their social impact statement. In just a few short weeks, the contestants will compete for the title of Miss District of Columbia 2021, where the winner will go on to represent DC at the Miss America competition and serve a year as an ambassador and spokesperson advocating for social impact initiatives. Please join me in congratulating the already very accomplished contestants for Miss District of Columbia. Hi, my name is Jude Mabonet and I'll be singing Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. Underwater and they tell me to breathe easy for a while and breathing gets harder even I know that You made room for me But it's too soon to see If I'm happy in your hands I'm unusually hard to hold on to Blank stares and blank pages No easy way to say this mean well, but you make this hard on me. I'm not gonna write you a love song, cause you asked for it, cause you need one. You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song, cause you tell me it's make or break in this and you're on your way. I'm not gonna write you to stay. Walk the seven seas when I believe that there's a reason to write you a love song today. Today. Hi, friends. My name is Layla Diallo, and today we will be doing a few magic tricks together. Stay tuned. 
we are going to try a few magic words just to see if we could get this rabbit out of my hat, okay? Everyone ready? Cool. Um, let's start with the good old traditional abracadabra. Mm. Nothing, okay? Uh, what did the fairy godmother from Cinderella say? Was it, what was that? I think it was bibbity bobbity boo Nope, that's not it. Okay, uh, let me think, what is going on in about 10, 11 days? Ooh, I know, I know, I know. This, this has to be it. Miss District of Columbia. Let's see? Oh, I think I got something. something. Ta-da! And there you have it. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Until next time. My name is Elizabeth Noe. I'll be reading Where the Wild Things Are, written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Where the Wild Things Are, by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without anything to eat. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until the ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared the terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. He sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day, and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Menzner, and I'm going to be playing a piano solo, written by my own piano instructor, Elizabeth Borowski. The piece is called Northern Lights.
Thank you.